It's a breeze bait. Garfield Christmas special! That's right. Featuring the same voice of the character who's known for the catchphrase, Juicer Bows. That's right. That's Pat Carroll. Actually, it's not technically Juicer Bows. It's just her voice, but somebody came up with a word based off of it called Juicer Bows. Oh, yeah. Pat Carroll, the voice of Grandma in the Garfield Christmas special. Voice of Ursula in The Little Mermaid. And how's it and how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the ep second episode of the season premiere of the 25 Days of Wheel. The new season, that is. If you saw the season premiere last night, Great by 789 took us for $65,100. Who's going to be our winner tonight? Let's find out. Well, Lee, your name is in the drawing. And who knows? Might be our next million dollar winner. It's not at all impossible. So with all that said, you're all terrific players out there. Get ready, we're going to do our first toss up one thousand dollars each day. Yes. The category is things. And it's things. And we'll get it started right now. Um. Fuzzy scarf and oh, fuzzy scarf and mittens. Something we'll be needing plenty of this winter. I just hope it's really cold in Canada. Uh, after the uh, 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 okay. two thousand dollar toss up coming up. What are you doing? None of your business. That is all show you. Girls, none of your business. <laughs> Baking pies with mom. Any kind of pies you want. Oh, and because we got the category, we're going to put $25,000 in the jackpot. That's right. Yep. It's our new season of the 25 Days Wheel, and we're sticking with tradition on the Xbox 360, because we can. T. And I can pick up the half card plate. There are two T's. All right, here we go. Spin the wheel. Four hundred. R. No, oh, no R. Oh well. Uh, it says a gift tag for player two. And while we're on the subject of talking about millions of dollars, we did land on the million dollar wedge last night and took it to the bonus round, but we ended up getting 30 grand instead. But it's still very early in the season, including tonight. We have 24 episodes left, so there's lots of time. But as far as we want, it's two million dollar wedge. Or more. That's our big hope. That's right. That's what we want. We want more than $2 million winners, and we're going to try to make it happen. As we get the wheel of spin, what are we going to get? Otherwise, I'll make it $500. 
Um, L. There is an L. Well, there is an L. Okay, we know what the last word is. I know what the last word is, but I don't know the first word, so let's keep going. Three hundred dollars. N. Yeah. <laughs> and also, while we're on the subject of Wheel of Fortune and inflation, if you take a look at the PS4 version of Wheel of Fortune that was just recently released, it's up to date with their dollar amounts, with the lowest amount being five hundred dollars. Big That's right, 350 is not on the PS4 version. It's 500 is the lowest amount, but right now, I just landed on the million dollar wedge! Oh, <laughs> and landing on the million, I get to say these magic words Pat, I'd like to take a pee. There you go. And there's one P, pick up the million. The phrase that makes Lee laugh just got us the million dollar wedge. Okay, now the time to play on the rebound. I'm gonna buy a vowel. A. Well, there's one A. And also, will the minimum for $500 on the wheel be the norm? subsequent official episodes. Yes, that's correct. Because since the year 2014, 500 has been the lowest amount. Yes, there is. Well, there's one E. Going up here, I believe that the government inv invented inflation. Well, there are two. There's a myth that uh, people have been saying more is better. Now there's one O. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get the U up there. Well, that's as far as I can go, so I have to either spin or solve. I'm going to have to spin because I don't know that first word. I'm kind of clueless. But I'll take a guess. 500. I hope there's an H. And there is! There's two H's. Hot House Plant. Let's solve it. Oh, well, there's a first time for everything. So, if there are technical issues that may arise, and you folks at home point it out, I'd be more than happy to address your concerns, and we'll be more than happy to fix the problem before Welcome to the Mr. Definitely. Phrase. And we need a phrase for our second round. Phrase. Our spinner will be now, I will say this regarding the PS4 version of the Wheel of Fortune. The PS4 version, what do I think of it? Well, despite not having Pat and Ben on there anymore, I have to say, Nine. it's not that bad, actually. Puzzle, sorry. My brother owns a PS4, and I'm more Okay. Wild card. And she can pick it up, there's one R. Now, Wheel of Fortune, I have to say, is not bad. It's pretty fun. I like it. You got the wild card but now. I do also have Jeopardy for it, but I've got to say, I've not played Jeopardy for the PS4 on my channel yet, but I've seen gameplay footage of it on YouTube, and all I can say is this. That version looks terrible. Jeopardy for the PS4. It doesn't even look like the real thing. It just looks like a PowerPoint. It looks terrible. And there's no E, but that's okay. But I will say, Wheel of Fortune, on the other hand, is actually pretty reasonable, and it's a lot of fun. I like it. I also like the fact that they keep up with current values. They keep the million dollar wedge out there, and and they have the new express wedge. Yes, very much so. Yes, there is. And that are not complete with it. Actually, let me fix that. I agree. And besides, I've owned this version of Wheel for five years. There's a 50 50 chance there'll be $10,000 under there. Oh, player two got the $10,000 mystery. Oh boy. 
she solves the puzzle, she could take the lead. She'll land on 900 for now. 900? Oh, it's so messed up. There's no N. Yes? I'm not! <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, Lee, sorry to interrupt you, but um, the computer player landed on a loser turn and Pat said, Oh man, I'm sorry, so we're going to put another 25 grand in the jackpot. But anyways, please, please continue what you were saying. Please continue what you were saying about the rare VHS you found. Oh yeah. And uh, he just gets all about some fun hall festive arts crafts. None of your business. And it's a fun puzzle on top of that. Well, I've said it before and I said it again. Not your business. <laughs> I apologize about all the interruptions, Lee. I'm so sorry, but we're putting another twenty-five grand in the jackpot, so now that's seventy-five thousand dollars in bonus money we're giving away. But anyways, it, it was filmed at Disney MGM. It's hosted by TV personality J.D. Roth. Please continue. Uh-huh. squeezed orange juice, so it's either a trip to Orlando or a trip to Miami. I know, because oranges are, is, the, is the main fruit of Florida. Correct. Now, also, since you mentioned J.D. Roth, I'd like to ask you a question. Let's not forget, this was also a prize puzzle. Did you ever watch the Disney Channel game show Mad Libs growing up? Well, it was on the Disney Channel from 1998 to 1999. It was executive produced. Well, it was hosted by David Sedoni, but it was executive produced by Dick Clark and J.D. Roth. Congratulations. We'll be back with more Wheel of Fortune right after this. The reason why I got through that show during that time is because I was the first mate. I was more of a poking nut watching first broadcast on the original episode. And we don't get Disney Channel. Living thing is the category. Oh, okay. But yeah, I was in fifth grade when uh, Mad Libs premiered on Disney. And uh, from what I read about it, Dick Clark worked backstage with J.D. Roth. They were executive producers. Uh, I think they did, from what I understand, according to David Sedoni, who was the host. Not only that, but David Sedoni is also famous for hosting Wheel 2000. The category for our next puzzle is... A children's version of Wheel of Fortune in which kids play for points, and if they go to the bonus round, they win a grand prize, such as a limo ride uh, to school with uh, your friends, or going to an amusement park with your friends of your choice. No, they didn't play for money, they played for points. Points. And if you got a certain amount of points, then they got converted to a... You could spend them on a prize. For example, one prize that was available is that they won a PlayStation game or a handheld computer. And I'm happy to report, the Million Dollar Wedge is safe! That's beautiful. And also, I just want to mention, this is the 
Yeah, I think I'll give the wheel oh, yeah, a final so yeah, spin and ask you to give me a letter. Uh, when you 15 said something seconds about to solve it. Every consonant will be worth uh, $1,000 plus. I don't know if they took out a gift certificate or not, but I do know that um, they didn't play for cash. They played for prizes. Well, yeah, that was a, a on Family Guy. It was a parody of Wheel of Fortune back in the '80s, but Wheel 2000 was on in 1997. It was on CBS on Saturday mornings. This was a year before David Sedoni hosted Mad Libs. Oh yeah, but also JD Roth hosted another game show called uh, Fun House back in the late '80s or early '90s. Yeah. <laughs> Pike's Peak in Colorado? Go for it, player one. I think that's the solution. Alright, just give me one second. I'm gonna go through some uh, uh, final touches on the closest. Oh yeah. Good show, player one. Congratulations to you. We'll Got a shot at a million bucks. You ended up in second place, but still with a tiny Sunday. Third place, but you still played quite well. You made it to the bonus round, and you got a chance at winning a million dollars. Yep. Cross your fingers and give that wheel a spin. Here we go. We got $75,000 in bonus money we're giving away. We've got our envelope now. The category for this one is Around the House. Around the House. R-S-T-L-N-E. Vanna will get some of those letters up there. All right. Could we have our first million dollar winner tonight? Let's find out. Okay. We need three uh, D and one more. D-W-K-U. Let's see what we got here. Junk drawer. Junk drawer, yeah. It's a drawer where you keep a lot of your junk in it. Here we go. We're going to get a million dollar winner. Here we go. For a million bucks. No, but it is the Halloween location. Oh, well. Well, $59,350. Let's throw in that seventy-five grand in bonus money. That's $134,350 that somebody's about to win. So let me add that to the jackpot, which is now at $199,450 so far. For two days, that's not bad. This is how everyone did. And now, it's time to pick a winner. Yes, Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, here we go. For $134,350, our winner for tonight is YouTube user Caleb Ward. So, Caleb, congratulations. I got $134,350 for you. And our jackpot is now at $199,450. All we need is $550 to make it to two hundred dollars but that's going to be easily done tomorrow night. But for tonight, our show is over, but... We still have 23 more exciting episodes of the 25 Days of Wheel coming to you all this month. So, we hope you'll catch us for episode 3 tomorrow night. Lee will be here. I will be here. Will you? We hope so. I sure, I sure hope you do. And I actually keep rolling because I absolutely wanted to play this with a real source. Just give me one second. Keep rolling. But, yeah, we only need $550 to break $200,000. And we're going to do that tomorrow night easily because... We're guaranteed at least $1,000. So, we'll just see how it all turns out. And hopefully, just hopefully, we'll have a million dollar winner. But yeah, we still have more than, oh, let's see. That $199,450, we still have... We still have almost uh, $25 million to give away. We have more than $24.8 million in our budget, in our jackpot, just waiting to be given away. And hopefully... 
We'll do it. But yeah, all the leftover money we have from the spectacular, that goes into the 25 days of Leo budget. And we just use that money to give it away for the rest of the year. And whatever. I did it, man. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for stolen. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, I apologize for the hold up. But anyways, you know, thank you so much for being part of the second episode. And until then, keep your feet on the ground. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but I like it anyway. See y'all tomorrow night. <laughs>